Hi there, my name is Miss Townsend and I love math. Welcome to Maths with Townsend. This video is for grade 10 students who are working on the year end summative. It's question number one from the linear systems section. Let's look at the question. It says, there are two internet service providers in your town. TechNet costs $20 per month for 100 gigabytes of usage, plus a dollar per gigabyte thereafter. Network Solution costs $40 per month, also with $100, 100 gigabytes of usage, and 50 cents per gigabyte thereafter. Which internet provider should you choose if you plan on using 300 gigabytes per month? So we need to create some equations from the information here so that we can compare the equations. So what we have is two different companies, TechNet and Network Solutions, and both of which have a cost per month. So C is going to be the cost per month. That's something I don't know. And what does it depend on? Well, the cost per month depends on how many gigabytes I use. So I'm going to use N for the number of gigabytes used, but be careful, past the $100 that I get as a basic. So it's the number of gigabytes beyond 100 used per month. So the number of gigabytes that I'm going to use beyond 100 that, per month. So now I can create two equations. One of them, I'll just temporarily call it CT, meaning the cost at TechNet, is $20 basic fee. And then for every gigabyte I use beyond the 100, it's going to be another dollar. The other company, Network Solutions, starts at $40, and then it's only $0.50 cents for every gigabyte past the $100 point. So there's the two equations. Um, so if I plan to use 300 gigabytes, which one's cheaper? Now certainly we could just substitute a value in for n. If I'm using 300 gigabytes, then that's 200 extra gigabytes that I'm going to have to pay for. So I could simply sub 200 in for n and calculate. Um, and that would completely answer the question. But I think what the intention of this question was is to get you to solve this as a system of equations. So let's do it that way, because um, I don't think that that's necessarily you know, significant enough for your grade 10 summative. So let's go and revisit these equations. So again, here's the first equation, $20 starting fee, and then $1 per gigabyte beyond 100. And the other equation starts at 40 and is only 50 cents per gigabyte. So there's my two equations. I'll label them equation 1 and equation 2. And we want to solve the system. So we'll, we're going to figure out at what point do these companies cost the same amount. So how many gigabytes of usage would I get charged the same amount? Because then I can decide which one's cheaper and which one's more expensive, um, depending on where they intersect. Um, so one thing to keep in mind is, is that the first one, this is cheaper to begin with. If I knew I was only going to use 100 gigabytes, I would definitely go with the first company because they start at $20. And if I'm not using any extra gigabytes, then they're definitely cheaper. But as I start to use more and more gigabytes, eventually they're going to reach a point where they both charge the same, and then at some point, you know, at that intersection point, the second company is going to be cheaper. So the more I use, the more likely it is that I want to use the second company. I just want to figure out exactly where the point is where the first company um, stops being cheaper and the second company starts. So we're going to solve the system of equations. And let's solve it by, um, oh, I like elimination, sure. They're already set up nicely. I'm going to subtract equation 2 from equation 1. So C subtract C is 0. I've eliminated C. 20 subtract 40 is negative 20. 1x subtract 0.5x is positive 0.5x. So here I've eliminated one of my variables. So now I can solve for x. 20 equals 0.5x. So x is 40. So what that means is that if I use 40 gigabytes, beyond the 100. So if I use 40 gigabytes extra, 
or if you want, 140 total, then both companies charge the same. So if I'm using 300 gigabytes, I definitely want to go with company number two because before 40 extra gigabytes, the first company's cheaper. After 40 gigabytes, the second company's cheaper. So my answer would be that I want to go with network solutions. Um, but let's look at this again, just, you know, this is a short video. Um, let's actually graph them and we'll kind of just make sure that everyone clearly understands what we just did. So we have two lines or two equations, and here's one of them again. The first line is for TechNet, and the second line for Network Solutions, and let's graph them just for all the visual learners like me. So the first one starts at 20, and then every gigabyte used over 100 costs me a dollar. So if I use 20 gigabytes extra, I need to pay $20 extra, right about here. If I use another 20, I need to pay another $20, um, and so on. So that would create a line. Let me grab my line tool here. So that would create a line. Ooh, let's see if I can line this up nicely, like this. And using my fancy tools here, I can be really smart. I don't know how much of this you guys can see, but I'm going to put an arrow on the end of that line because that's what we do. Maybe you're going to use more than that. Um, so the other line, let me grab another color here. The other line starts at 40, and now it's only five, 50 cents for every extra gigabyte. So 20 extra gigabytes would only be 10 extra dollars. Um, so every 20 gigabytes is another $10. So I can start to see where this line's going to be. So let me grab my line tool, draw a lovely line. Um, this line's going to look weird at first, and then I'll fix it. So there it is. Uh, but let me fix that line for you. Perfect. So there's my two lines. Properly label the graph, please. So this is, this is TechNet, and this is Network Solutions. And we can see right here is the intersection of those two lines. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Woo, there's the intersection of those two lines. Isn't that nifty? And we can see that the intersection is right where we thought it would be, where we calculated it would be, that if you use 40 extra gigabytes, they cost the same amount. And before that point, the black line, the TechNet company, is cheaper, but after that point, the cheaper company is Network Solutions. So again, I would choose Network Solutions because it's cheaper. <clears throat> it's cheaper for any usage over 140 total. So that's the answer. There, that was pretty simple. Um, thanks for watching.